Are you tired of wasting precious hours staring at a blank screen and struggling to brainstorm your next social media post? What if I told you that there's a way to not only speed up the process, but also to generate engaging and relevant content effortlessly? Yes, in fact, this is possible. So stick around if you're ready to reclaim your time and boost your social media game. Hey guys, so in today's video, we're going to unwrap the magic of Social Bee's AI Post Generator and definitely, definitely stay until the end when I'll share a special gift with you. Hey, welcome everyone. So let's get started with Social Bee. So I'm just gonna quickly just give you an overview. Um, Social Bee is my social media management tool. Today's video is specifically going to talk to you about the AI post generator uh, feature that they have, but this is just their dashboard. This is where you will see all of your social media profiles here. And then if you want to see what content um, you have assigned by categories, if you want to see what your scheduled setup is in terms of when your posts are going to be published, you can do that. And then you can look and see what your next posts are. And then I apologize for the slowness of my computer today. Um, and then there's analytics that you'll be able to review now. And that's based on each platform. And then this engage is a new beta that I might end up doing a separate video on. So let's go back to the dashboard. So these are all of the profiles that I have already added to my social bee. So I'm going to come up here to add a post. So when you need to start creating your content, let's just assume you have a general vague idea of what you want the post to be. You can copy and paste the content in here if you like, or you can actually just say, well, you know what? I'm not really sure what I want. Let me just have the AI post generator help me. So you can click on this icon and you have two options. You have the ability to generate captions or to generate images. This video is for generating captions. And then the AI post generator window will pop up and it will give you um, some prompt templates. Now these amount to, they're all categorized, but they amount to well over a thousand different prompts. So you don't really have to stress too much about, well, how do I tell the AI specifically what it is that I want it to do? This template or these templates really give you a great idea of how you can go about doing that. So say for example, um, it's going to be a promotional uh, post that you want to do. So you can write a social media post promoting a discount voucher or promotion that you have um, possibly going on. Or maybe you want to write a promotional social media post based on the following content. So you can kind of give it some context, if you will. So let's try this one just for the hell of it. So after the colon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this particular promotional post is to uh, promote um, a new video about social bees AI post generator feature and how much time it saves you when you need to create your social media posts. So let's just say that's what we want to do. So now you have to go to tone. Do you want to be polite? Do you want to be witty? Do you want to be enthusiastic? I tend to be uh, conversational and you can only choose one tone of voice at a time. Then for the length of your post, they have it defaulted at 35. It's not bad. 35 words is not bad, but if you want it to be a little bit higher, you can certainly do that. So let's say we do 62 and bear in mind the more, I don't know what this max is out at, uh, 2000 words, the lengthier this is, the longer it's going to take, um, for processing. So I try to keep it within no more than 70 words, just so that it doesn't take a long time. Um, technically speaking, if you want to use hashtags, you can turn that on. If you want to include emojis, you can turn that on. 
But what I have found a lot of times is that it will generate the hashtags and the emojis, whether you turn this on or not. It defaults at three posts that it will provide to you. Again, just like the amount of words, the more posts that you ask it to generate, the longer it's going to take in order to process. So we're gonna keep it at the default three, and then we're gonna click generate and everything's gonna be populated over here in a few moments. So as you can see, these are the choices. So it says, hey, social media enthusiasts, check out our latest video featuring Social Bee's mind-blowing AI post generator feature. Say goodbye to wasting hours brainstorming content ideas because this nifty tool does it all for you. Save precious time and engage and create engaging social media post effortlessly. And then it has some hashtags. So you can go through these and if you don't like them, you can generate some more. If you do like them, you can either select the ones that you want by just hitting the, the click the checkbox, or you if you like all three, you can just come up here and select all three, and then you can click here that says use selected results, and then they populate. Now notice, I do have my LinkedIn and my Facebook uh, selected. So this means that these three posts are going to be posted on both platforms. So if you want to um, differentiate between LinkedIn and Facebook, then you'll have to hit here where it says customize for each uh, profile. But I'm not going to go through that at the moment. I just really wanted to focus on the AI post generator. So this one's already populated in here. So what I tend to do is I'll come in here and then I'll just sort of edit things just so that it can look a little bit differently. So maybe I might want to, um, uh, have some extra spaces. Now, when it comes to the hashtags, I'm of two minds, whether I want this to create the hashtags for me because I've not, I'm still testing whether their hashtags make more sense than mine. But if I wanted to swap this out for mine, I would just come over here to this hashtag icon. And when you open that up, these are all of my saved, I, I, uh, my saved hashtags. So I would just come in here and I'd click mine if I wanted to use mine. So these are all mine. Um, but I think for this example, I'm going to leave this as here because I am still testing. So when you're finished with that, you then just need to come down here and decide, do you want it to post now? Do you want it to post at a specific time? This is the category to which you're going to be posting these. And this would be promotional. So it would go here to promotional. Then you can say whether you want it to go to the top or the bottom of the queue, depending on when you want this to start. And it also depends on how many you already have in that category. And then here, this is the most important. Do you want it to requeue after posting? Some promotional you may not want to, especially if it's promoting a live event that's going to be happening at a specific date or a webinar that's coming out or something like that. Then in that instance, you'll either not want it to requeue and you'll want it to post it at specific times. Or if you do have it requeuing because say, for example, the event is a month or two away, then you can just put in either you want it to exp expire after a certain number of times of publishing, or you want it to expire by a specific date. So once you're finished with all of that information, you definitely need to make sure that you put in your image or whatever it is that you're going to need to promote with this. So you can do that by adding a photo or a video from your computer. I personally don't add videos because it sends it to a social B standing page um, where you can see the video. And to me, that just doesn't look right. So I'd rather it go to a YouTube video and be played on YouTube rather than this weird social B page. Um, but the other thing that you can do is you can come in here to Canva or you can do this for Jiffy. And I forgot which icon this is for. When you are finished, if you're ready for everything to be published as is, you can just save post as a published, I mean, as approved. If you're not ready, you can then, and I'm not ready because I haven't added any images to it. You can just save it as a draft and then save your post. And when you go to your content, that was under promotional. 
so you can go here to see all of your promotional posts and so you can see them here and you can see that it's in draft mode. So that is AI post generator in Social B in a nutshell. I totally approve of this. I love it. It has saved me a tremendous amount of time and I would not want to use any other tool other than this. If you're tired of juggling multiple social media accounts and want a smarter way to manage and grow your online presence, Social B might just be the tool that you've been searching for. But don't take my word for it. Give Social B a try and see the magic happen for yourself. And remember, the B is a symbol of hard work and productivity. And with Social B, you'll be buzzing your way to social media success in no time. I know, Lord, that's hokey. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think about Social B, or you can share your own social media management tips as that's not my expertise, but this is a platform I love, so I wanted to share it with you. But I would love to hear from you and hear what your thoughts are. And do remember that sharing is caring, so feel free to share this video with anyone who might find it useful. Until next time, thanks as always for watching.